Hello everybody, this is Angela. Hello, what a warm, warm day we're having. I'm in my cool home, the drapes are drawn, the fans are running, it's really comfortable in here. And I was outside today and enjoyed the day, but now I'm here on Facebook Live. I'm Angela with Millie Grazia, Young Living. Um, yeah, Millie Grazia has been in Young Living for over 11 years. So tonight we're doing Millie Gracia Pilot e Education Game Plan. We're on Chapter 16, and that's about staying legal, comprehensive FDA training that Sarah Harnish has in her book. And here is a copy of the book. Please get that. Thank you to Sarah. And we have had Millie Gracia in training for compliance uh, for many years. And including Mary Ann. Hi, hi, Courtney. So glad you joined. Hi, all. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. So we were just talking about how um, we have leaders in in our um, group who have been giving us wonderful presentations and webinars and calls on uh, compliance. So we have been received wonderful training. Thank you, Marianne, for joining. And we want to thank Sarah, who has written the book. And we also want to thank um, our, our leaders. That's Connie McDaniel, that's Kathy Cowie, and also Catherine Faso. Oh, and Mary Starr, she has also been very good to help us with um, getting on board with uh, staying legal. Uh, Marianne, okay, so wonderful. Now I'm, I'm going to just say that I started out by um, having a little bit of, of um, thieves. I, I had thieves, uh, I can't do that, but you can't see this I don't think, but I had thieves in a, a glass of water. Um, yes, Kathy Cowie. Kathy Cowie is um, wonderful. She had a great Saturday um, with uh, Sarah Harnish. We're so grateful to her. Thank you, Courtney and her mom, Sue, and uh, Lynn for, and, and Kathy Mincer, uh, Lynn Burr, for coming back and letting us more know more about it. So I was just saying that we're starting out with thieves because I needed a, a get up and go. I needed to um, have good, um, good excitement Yes, Kathy Cowie's a crown diamond. So I chose to use Thieves tonight because it has cinnamon, it has clove, lemon, rosemary, I believe eucalyptus. Oh, I'm glad Courtney had a great time. So I carry around these packets all the time. They're very important because I love to share the oils. And we're going to get started now with Chapter 16. So... Staying Legal, Comprehensive FDA Training, Notes for, for this mini class. And I, before we get started with the, the, six, the chapter 16, just want to take a look here and see that we are Millie Gracia and we have, I don't know what's the problem here, free community classes. And uh, you can uh, find out more about that. And you can write to me, Angela, at oilingforglobalwealth.com. And this is the building where it's held, 274 Goodman Street, Mythic Treasures. And you can find out more about that on our website, Oiling for Global Wealth. And the next class will be on May 27th. We're going to give you a mini 101 class and de-stress and rejuvenate with essential oils experience so you will experience some of these oils. Okay, so that's what this is all about, uh, sharing. And we want to do it the right way. So if you take a look at this card, this card is sometimes what we pass out. Support your body with these essential oils. 
And if you look at the bottom here, in very small print, you probably can't see it, but it's on most of the, um, oh yes, Sue D is going to be leading the class on May 27th, and Courtney too, she'll be there. So I just wanted to point out that you get these cards and you want to pass them along, but there's a statement at the bottom, and that's what we're talking about here tonight to make everything legal. So sometimes you see people, I'm sorry for the um, brightness, and I can't control it. I don't know what the story is, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> um, have you seen people using this? These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Consult a physician before starting any weight management or exercise program. So we've been seeing that, and we use something like that. Everyone can uh, take whatever parts they want, but we must say the statements have not been evaluated. And all of this you'll find even on Young Living website. So our websites and every... So we're going to talk about that now. So what's the goal and the objective here? Stay legal for your business without implied intentions, language, and conduct. So your actions sometimes and some of the words that you don't use with the words that you do use may, may have an inference or implication. Use Young Living graphics because they are reviewed by lawyers and understand why Young Living doesn't become FDA certified. Remember, the most important part of the answer is that Young Living Essential Oils wants Young Living products to be for everyone. And we're going to talk about what is a drug, okay? So, regarding the FDA administration, what are essential oils and what they are not? What are what you are legally allowed to say about essential oils, how to protect your business and compliance, uh, what you are not allowed to say about essential oils. Note, Young Living Conduct and Education Department. Sarah Harnish will tell you in her story, and please get the books, that she had an experience with her virtual office being shut down. So, you can read about her story in the book. Now, she had to go, and others too, anytime that you are shut down, you have to go through education courses with Young Living in their de education department. She's been through many, so I value what our, our, our leaders above us have taught us and what Sarah shares with us as well. Oils are not about curing disease, not a drug that is written as a prescription by a doctor and covered by health insurance. Now that's page 142, second paragraph. Young Living doesn't want to become FDA certified. That's right. They don't want to become FDA certified because not everybody will get them. If the, if a doctor has to write a prescription and, and they need, people need coverage with a health insurance. No, we have affordable essential oils and the purpose is wellness. It's uh, because then the oils would be considered to be a drug. How did we get here? Testimonials, endorsements, people expressing disease and cures. Young Living is a wellness company, and it's about preventative man maintenance. Our bodies need to be strong. So what's the principle? The guiding principle is essential oils are a wellness Solution for what? Maintaining wellness. It's about putting your body system in a place where they are well supported. And we have many, many times heard about Mary Ann's uh, story with Young Living, and she wanted to give her body great support. So now we'll go about in compliance. Don't talk about oils to treat disease. So Marianne says doctors um, that are MDs cannot provide EOs for patients. That's right. Natural paths is different. I don't know the story, but uh, maybe they have to also buy it separately from the doctor, but let's continue. 
I got a little bit of a glare here, and I don't know what it's from, but I'm working on it, okay? All right, so you take su supplements like Ninja Red and Pure Protein Complete and Life 9 for what? Gut health, a body system. Gut is digestion and gut. So now you take Thieves Vitality internally if you feel you need a little immune support on a day you're just you're feeling just off. You're just off. I was off before coming on, so that's why I had a few, uh, a little bit of a tiny drop in my water, cold water in my glass, and I had the thieves. And here we go. For therefore, it's about setting the stage for your body to have all the resources it needs. And if you keep your dialogue about young living in that place, you will never run into noncompliance because you're not curing people. Okay, move on. Remember, if you buy, if you see it in a drugstore, um, you always, I'm always off. Yeah, that's right, Courtney. <laughs> I carry thieves with me all the time. <laughs> I love your sense of humor. You and your mom, I love it. And your husband, too. Our, he's got a great sense of humor. So just remember, if you can uh, get something at a drugstore, it's probably something that we can't talk about with our essential oils. The drug is for a specific purpose, to cure, to alleviate pain, etc., etc. The product at the drugstore is probably FDA approved. And com comparing oils to that, that includes things that seem okay like bug spray and s sunscreen. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see me talk. Let me see if I can do this. So let me tell you this. I have become more aware through the great help and coaching of Marianne, as well as all the, all the other times I have uh, listened to people having discussion about this. So, yeah, gut is the human digestion system. Thank you. And that's great. Um, I don't know what we were talking about, but anyways, I remember that. All right, so... What I want to mention is, here it is, that she's ta Sarah's talking about the, um, t Sarah's talking about bug spray and sunscreen being in the pharmacy, in a store, or a pharmacy, rather, and it's probably FDA approved. Okay, so, all right, now, I know that if I want a, um, a, a, an outdoor summer experience free of annoyances, you see, I will use my essential oils. I am in compliance. My language is fine. I'm legal. So I want a free annoyance. I want an annoyance free summer night. Uh, and I uh, carry my essential oils for that. Very good. Now, Cool Azul. I don't know all the answers. You can read this and maybe stop this, rerun this video, and you can read everything that comes from Young Living here. But there is an active in ingredient, and that is a menthol salicylate. Uh, I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I know somebody else will. And then it has the natural menthol, which is found in peppermint. Okay, so that is an active drug. Okay, now I'm not trying to make anything confusing here because this is easy. The part is easy for me. No prescription necessary. It is natural relief. Cool Azul Pain Relief Cream. This is one thing we can talk about, and it's great for people who want to get some support for pain management. And it is approved as far as the language goes. We'll catch you all next time. I'm going... Uh, uh, an appointment. Okay, thank you, Marianne, and you can take a look at the rerun. Thank you very much for joining us. Okay, so now, this, you know, I, I, I can't go through all of this, but it's all in the uh, Young Living Digital uh, Product Guide, and you'll find all the information about it and the benefits and the features. So this is all from Young Living, and it's all in compliance. That's important. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Facebook, 
Now for Facebook, use Young Living Graphics. It is the safest way. When you are posting links to other people's websites, be careful, think. You may be posting a website that may not have compliance language. So I'm very careful now for posting links or liking another a person's comments. I want to be very careful about everything I do on Facebook has to be in compliance. Liking a post. Again, I like a post. Maybe it's talking about how somebody's using essential oils for their pets. Well, I have to make sure that it's in compliance. And I'm not going to like it unless it's in compliance. Again, I'm going to use the graphics from Young Living. Writing posts, the same is true. My language has to be not intended to imply or have any kind of uh, innuendos in there. I'm not, I'm not curing anything. Leading questions. How do you use thieves? How do you use peppermint? Be careful with those questions because you'll have to del delete some of them. Some people may say they need it for X, Y, and Z um, health problem. They actually say what the health problem is. Oh, no, we support our body systems. So if they're talking about a specific disease, oh, no, I'm not going to put it up and I'm not reposting it. And I'm also going to delete it. Review your entire page, comments from others, your IMs, instant messages, everything. So be careful because Facebook looks at everything. Now the Vitality label. Talk about, the, uh, talk about Vitality essential oils. That's again, remember I told you, the white label, we've talked about it before. That white label is in compliance with talking about it using the essential oil internally. Not a Vitality label. If it's not, if it's just a regular label without the vitality, then don't talk about it internally. Read the label, and it usually talks about diffusing and topically using it, as often with a, car um, a carrier oil, like olive oil or whatever. M many people don't use carrier oils, but read the labels. That's the most important part. Oil application, use virtual office, documentation, use chart and member services. So we are young living leaders. We have virtual offices. We're building our business. Every member has a virtual office in young living. We can go to members resources and we can find charts. And when we do, we're looking for product information pages, usage cards. I'm on the green one here. The, the pink one is suggested product claims, so we don't have to worry about what we can say and what we can't. We study this a little bit, and this is the most important thing, suggested product usage chart. Make a copy of that, carry it with you when you're talking about the essential oils. So this is from Young Living. Notice the language. I'll put it on the, sl on the side here. It's kind of hard. The next time you drive by a field of fresh peppermint or hike through a pine forest, breathe deeply. You experience the soul-soothing power of essential oils. But uh, essential oils are more than nice scents. These powerful plant extracts are your path to the lifelong wellness we are committed to helping you discover. Again, something from Young Living. You, sorry about this lighting. Oh dear. You can access the power. Oh, you can access the power of essential oils many ways, but the most common practices include aromatic diffusion, topical ap application, and dietary consumption. These methods bring the pure essence of health promoting botanicals to your home, family, and life. Again, that's from Young Living website. Classes. Don't quote sources other than Young Living. Don't quote from this book or that book. Don't quote from people who are experts. Any clinic, clinical studies. We don't do it. We're not medical experts. 
Have books on separate tables. Don't open books at the Young Living Table. If people ask questions and they want to, uh, and you want to find um, information from another book, use the product guide. It's the best. From my understanding, oh, that is a great, that is a great statement. Be careful of this, because sometimes we think that because of our innocence. We're going to be, we're not going to be held accountable. Pleading ignorance is not safe. We must know the law. A resource bibliography can be printed on a sheet and made available. So don't pass it out. People can take it if they want. People do, you, we, we suggest to people, do your research, do your own research for your own self-care. And that's what we say, and that's all. Anything we say about anti and dis words are banned. Antibiotic, antimicrobial, disinfectant. All of that is banned. So what do I like to do with thieves? And I carry it around and I pass it to people. I love can't see that. I'll do this. I love to carry packets around with me. And so what do we do with the thieves? We love to put, put some drops in a spray bottle or a cap full from the cleaning bottle, the concentrate, and we spray it all around. We are just enjoying spraying down our bathrooms and we enjoy uh, the, the scent, we just enjoy everything about the thieves uh, for our sinks and our bathrooms, etc. Notice my language. Okay. And the last is, very important, don't label Young Living on your sample bottles. Once they leave the Young Living, sam the young living bottles, they are no longer a Young Living product. So we must be compliant with FTC for labeling as well. We do not label that Young Living. That's why I love to use the packets because Young Living's there and all the information about that oil is on that little sample packet. Giving a book as an incentive for people to buy products or a premium starter kit is breaking the law. Share it the right way. It's worth it. Thank you, Young Living Leaders, and good night. See you soon, and I'm going to put up the postcard again to show you where we're located. Maybe I can get a little bit of a chance to, to uh, do this. Here we go. I'm doing my best. So these are the dates of our classes. And the 27th of May, Sue D. will be there, and I will too. In the beginning, we'll be giving a 101 class, and then we'll have an experience called De-Stress and Rejuvenate with Essential Oils. We have 101 classes next June 28th, July 12th, and August 16th. And we have Lynn Burst, who's coming into Rochester to give us a class on the Dreamcatcher Essential Oils for Sleep and Peace on June 7th. Then we have July 22nd, it's Essential Oils for Natural Summer Outdoor Living. And then August 19th, we have Back to School Essential Oils for Adults and Children. Remember, these oils are therapeutic grade, vitality food, and aromatherapy. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of this wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you very much. And bye-bye.